Hey guys, Scotty here coming in with another video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys all the stuff still going on. All this stuff is still escalating, guys. We're seeing this war stuff just continue to go on. Um, a lot of people are saying right now they think maybe these, this peace deal with the hostages could lead to something big happening. So we're just going to keep watching, guys, and seeing it. Because, I mean, guys, at the end of the day, the Bible says to watch. It says to keep watch because you don't know. But it says when you see these things, and we're seeing those things in this world. So what I'm telling you is, is to watch right now. Keep going. Don't give up. Keep relying on Jesus, guys, because we're seeing this stuff happen. I mean, guys, right now, you can wake up every day and see horrible news stories. You can ho see horrible things going on all across the earth, even just the way people are living right now. And all of that relates back to the Bible and... I mean, you can see these signs, guys, from tons of different channels, including my own, of biblical signs happening. And it's just, guys, we know that this is the time. If you know the Bible from the Holy Spirit, you know that we're towards the end of it with this war in Israel, guys. So just keep looking up, relying on Jesus, guys. I wanted to show that scripture because that scripture says that nothing, no man can take us out of the Lord's hand, guys. So I wanted to show you that because... I felt like it related to my other videos too, how I'm telling you how once you're with the Lord with belief in your heart, okay, nothing takes you away from him, okay, because you're you're with him, guys, so um, I wanted to say if you guys haven't done that, come to the Lord now, believe with your heart, confess with your mouth, it says in the Bible, when you do those things, you will be saved, and I show it at the end of my videos, there's a video I show on how to be saved, and guys you just got to put full belief in it you can't put 50 percent 20 percent 90 percent and you got to put a hundred percent so i just want to tell you guys that if you haven't done that please do that now with the things occurring on this earth i don't think there's much time left and i mean i'm just saying guys any moment this world war three could start and i had a dream from the lord which was world war three and rapture so i just wanted to come again again guys encourage you and tell you to keep looking up because guys we're going to be out of here really soon with these things occurring, so don't give up right now. Jesus' suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested and falsely sentenced to death. He was beaten and whipped. A crown made of thorns pressed into his head. Bearing the cross, he stumbled and staggered up the hill to Golgotha. Each step of the journey getting worse, spit on, cursed, and mocked. But Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to Him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way. Sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with His blood He shed, the Bible says, Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now, there's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. God hears you and he is answering your prayer. 
The love of God is being poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit.